So I decided to give Leeds a bit of an upgrade, and now they're a little more useful and a little more hilarious. This data pack has three main features, the first of which is that we can now leash any mob we want by using a name tag to name them leashed. So here you can see I've leashed a creeper and a villager, which are two things you can't normally leash in the game. And the second feature is super cool, so if you use a name tag to name a mob releashed, then any mob currently connected to you gets connected to that mob. So now this creeper and this villager are connected to the chicken. And the final feature of this data pack is obviously the best one, which is that you can take any mob currently connected to you, so the chicken's connected to me, and you can launch it into the sky with a rocket. Goodbye. Now, obviously, this may seem pretty simple at first, but there's a surprising number of weird things that you can do with this. So, one of the first and most obvious use cases for this is that it's pretty much an instant kill on any mob that you decide to rocket into the air. Check this out. So, these two guys get launched up, and here they come. Yeah, and that might seem kind of overpowered, but I mean, it does cost you a firework, and it only works outside on the surface, so uh, it's not gonna really help you in caves. But even if it is a little too powerful, it's pretty funny. Secondly, it makes collecting villagers to bring to a villager trading hall an absolute breeze. I mean, just being able to lead these guys makes life so much better. Look at this. No more messing around with boats or mine carts or whatever other nonsense you have to do to move them around. They're just gonna follow you because you have them tied up. You know, in hindsight, that kind of sounds a little cruel. Don't misinterpret that. They, they want to come. Don't you guys? Come on, let's go. Yeah, look, see, they seem pretty happy about it, right? And if you want to be able to leech a bunch of mobs to bring home, but you don't want them to, like, crowd you like this, you can have an allay that follows you around, and uh, the allay will even follow you into the sky. So if you look back there, this allay will follow behind me with all of these villagers. That is objectively hilarious. Oh my gosh. Uh, it crashed into me. I can go pretty fast and I do have to wait a second for it to catch up but uh, you see it over there in the distance it, it is catching up it's coming <laughs> so we can just like air deliver mobs over huge distances like this oh I kind of lost them hold on wait I gotta go back <laughs> and then if we're gentle enough we can actually get this allay I think to land gently in this field let's see hopefully none of these villagers die because uh, they fixed the bug with leads that causes them to take a ton of fall damage let's see is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Gentle landing, gentle landing. He's he's going up higher for some reason. Come on, gentle landing. You got this, buddy. Come on, come on. So oh, a little bit, a little bit damage, but most of them are all right. Look at that. Be honest, you've never seen anything like that in survival Minecraft, right? And yeah, maybe that's kind of overpowered, but look, it costs you a bunch of name tags and an allay to do. So I mean, I think it's kind of fair, right? That's kind of balanced. And I'm sure some of you have already noticed that this is an easy way to make renewable leads because uh, name tags are pretty easily renewable. And if we just uh, use a name tag to leash this guy and then we unleash him, we get a free lead in exchange. But, you know, renaming a name tag costs experience, so I think that balances itself out as well. But look, I'm not gonna try to sell you on the idea that this is supposed to be some sort of super helpful, amazing survival data pack, and that's the real purpose, because because the real reason I made it is just so that I can take a bunch of mobs and then connect them to a chicken and then connect them to a lead and then just launch them up into the stratosphere like that. <laughs> and then watch them slowly fall down like a little like weird UFO of, of bouncy jumbly mobs. And that's, that's the real reason I made this data pack. And that's where most of the entertainment value will come from. Sure, you're able to move around villagers and, and all that stuff, but come on, this, this is really what it's all about, right? And if you're a little more morbid, you can just skip the chicken and instead of making a funny looking UFO, you can make a statement. Please don't dislike the video after that. So a download to this data pack will be in the description below. You can download it on Modrinth and Planet Minecraft. And uh, if you'd like to, you can join my Discord server and uh, show me whatever you end up doing with it. Subscribe for more data packs like this. And uh, with all that being said, I will see you in the next one.